Well, the sub is unboxed and now it's time to move over to the amps, which are still a vital component. Actually, my subs were like 160 each. The amps are like 250 each, which is crazy. Anyways, today we're, or today we're unboxing more Alpine stuff. It's the MRX M110 uh, amps, which is not really that, uh, that catchy of a name, but it's a catchy amplifier, so let's unbox it. So I'm pairing these amps up, by the way. I mean, I'll just say this right at the beginning of the, of the video uh, with these uh, Alpine Type R's. So they're pretty, uh, pretty sweet subs. Um, uh, apparently, they're only uh, they like only work with a thousand watts RMS, but I thought it was more than that. I don't know, whatever. It'll be fine with this with these amps. But uh, so you got these uh, awesome Alpine Type R subs. Upgrading because uh, I'm getting a truck, so I might as well get some new equipment and get some louder speakers. And of course, with louder speakers, you need much more powerful amps. A thousand, a hundred watts RMS at two ohms. If you can't figure out how to get it to two ohms, it'll only give you six hundred and fifty watts. So hopefully you can actually figure out how to do it at two ohms. <laughs> That's what I'll be doing. Um, I got a dual four voice coil, which you can drop down to parallel and then uh, cut that ohm uh, in half and drop it out to two. So yeah, it'll be pretty nice with these uh, with this amp. So it uh, looks like a pretty sweet amp. It's a little bit bigger than the, I think I had the MRP M M500 before this or something with my old Alpine, Alpine Type Rs. But anyways, let's unbox this today. Should be a pretty sweet experience. Like I said, they're very expensive. Alpine has some other more expensive amps, but I'll tell you what, they're still expensive. I know like my, my friends that don't have subwoofers, they're like, oh, okay, subwoofers are like 150. And I'm like, well, yeah, but you need like a freaking $250 amp. So um, yeah, uh, here on the edges, we got some crap that I don't even know if I can get to it. Okay, here on these like end piece things, we had the, uh, it's, a, it's the things that go on the, um, on the edge of the amp, so it'll be like that kind of on the amp. Um, it kind of just covers up like the, ter the terminals and shit like that. Um, it's just plastic, it's nothing really too crazy. It's probably even not gonna focus. Oh, good job camera, cool. Um, but yeah, it's just plastic. It has like little screw holes, so. Uh, I will say right off the bat, Alpine does have some really cool packing material for this amp, which is pretty sweet. Um, here we got some uh, stuff uh, which you might need. I mean, you'll probably need some screws. Um, it looks like here's like a little Allen wrench thing where you can, uh, I think you need that to screw down the uh, speaker wire and the power wire and negative and then probably turn uh, probably uh, the remote wire too. Here's like, I think this is for, if you're not using RCA, you can just use like certain uh, speaker cable stuff. I don't really know how to do that. I think I'm just gonna use RCA to be completely honest, but uh, you got that as well. Oh, and then here's this really fun stuff, the uh, manual. So uh, that's really serious right there. And it looks like the verification. Oh yeah, Cray Z. Oh look, has a, mine has a hundred and, or a thousand, 162 watts. Oh snap, that's, that's pretty cool. It's nice that they give you that. All right, that's, that is a 14.4 volt, so. So if you don't have a good alternator, you might not be getting that much power. Okay, my tripod's kind of being a bitch today. So today we're not gonna use a tripod, we're gonna just uh, free ball it. Um, so yeah, here's the amp, of course. It looks pretty freaking sweet. It has that nice Alpine logo. Really not too flashy of an amp. Uh, I think they have uh, some different types of amps that are much more flashy, but all this has is a single blue light in there, which is, uh, I think they had the V power before this. That's what I have in my car right now, I think. And it's, it was pretty much just the same design. Had some, uh, you know, metal heat sink and everything. And that's pretty much it. it had a blue light and it's pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> so here we got some, uh, I guess here speaker wire coming out, which is uh, pretty sweet. It actually says it right there. All right, cool. And it has slightly different uh, uh, way you put it on there. So if I can actually, Zoom in there. That's where you'll need the Allen wrench and everything to actually screw the speaker wire in. You need to do the same thing for the, let's see, the battery, so the positive, the remote wire, and then the ground wire as well. So you'll need to use that Allen uh, wrench to be screwing all that stuff down, which is cool. And then here on the end, what is this? Just says, just says power supply. Does, okay. So I was just telling you that's where the power comes in. No crap. Uh, <laughs> and then you got amps right there, so. 425 amps, all right. Uh, or, wait, I, I call these amps. Dang it, they're fuses. Dang it, uh, come on, Sergeant Pope, what are you doing? Okay, 
So, and then here, that's the speaker level input here to the left. Um, that's that one thing I showed you earlier. Thank you for focusing camera. And then we got the RCA input and then pre-output. Don't really know exactly what the pre-output is, but uh, I guess you got that in case you know what that is. Um, <laughs> and then we got the gain subsonic. Okay. Oh, okay, that's the Hertz. And then you got LP filter and then the bass EQ. Sounds pretty exciting. All right. And then you got the uh, remote bass control because uh, Alpine does have like a little bass control thing where you can plug it in and you can control your bass from like the driver's seat, which is cool. So it looks like a pretty sweet uh, pretty sweet amp. God dang it. Do I keep calling it a sub for some reason? The back, the back of it Try to keep this covered if you install this stuff. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you'll keep the back of it covered. Let's be honest. I mean, it's, I mean, you're probably going to keep this covered, but yeah, it looks like shit. Uh, so <laughs> thankfully this side looks pretty damn nice. For, I mean, it's an expensive amp, so I kind of hope it looks nice, but it uh, looks pretty damn cool. So thank you guys for checking out this unboxing video. That's pretty much it. You get the little side things. You get some screws and a couple cables. You get like the burst sheet for it and everything, and then you get the amp. So pretty cool stuff. Thank you guys for checking out this unboxing video. If you thought it was cool, drop a like on it. If you didn't think it was cool, then get out of here. Uh, and uh, if you guys want to see the uh, unboxing of the sub, put, uh, check out that. It's on my channel too. But beyond that, thank you guys for checking out this video, and I'll see you crazy motherfuckers later. Peace out.